Good afternoon and welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Tuesday, October the 28th. And today is the feast day of the Apostles Simon and Jude. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 116, John 14, verse 15 to 31. And please join me in singing the second verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of Pure Nobis. Our God is great above all gods, the ruler of creation. In your hands are all the earth, and seas for you have made them. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, I love you, my God, because you heard my voice and supplications. Alleluia, Psalm 116. Please recite together with me. Alleluia, I love you, my God, because you heard my voice and supplications, because you have inclined your ear to me. I will call upon you as long as I live. The sorrows of death encircled me, and the pains of hell wrapped me. I found trouble and sorrow, and then I called upon your name. O oh God, I implore you, save my life. You are gracious and righteous, and you are merciful. You preserve the innocent. I was brought low, and you helped me. My soul can return to peace, for you have dealt bountifully with me. For you have delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. I will walk before you in the land of the living. I believed even when I said I was greatly afflicted. In my haste I said, All the children of the earth are liars. What shall I give you for all your blessings to me? I will take the cup of salvation and will call upon your name, my God. I will pay my vows to you now in the presence of your people. Precious in your sight is the death of your saints, and truly I am your servant and the child of your handmaid. You have freed me from my bonds. I will offer you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call upon your name. I will pay my vows to you now in the presence of all your people. In the courts of your house, in your midst, O Jerusalem, I praise you, my God. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I love you, my God, because you heard my voice and supplications. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 14, beginning at verse 15. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate, to be with you forever. This is the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him because he abides in you, and he will be in you. I will not leave you orphaned. I am coming to you. In a little while the world will no longer see me, but you will see me because I live, you also will live. On that day you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. They who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me. And those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. And Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? And Jesus answered him, Those who love me will keep my word, 
and my Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, and the word that you hear is not mine, but it is from the Father who sent me. I have said these things to you while I am still with you, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away, and I am coming to you. If you love me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, because the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it occurs, so that when it does occur, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no power over me. But I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. Rise, and let us be on our way. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions, and please say the response after each verse. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us and for all of your intentions. Together. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Most High God, you bless us with your cup of salvation. You preserve the simple, and you have set us free from the bondage of sin. Guide us in your ways. Keep our feet on your paths. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia. Amen.